Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you today? Welcome to Chattogram Online School. Dear students, you know, in this class we study English first paper. And in the last classes, we learned same comprehension. And it is from English for today. But in today's class, we are going to learn unseen comprehension. And I think it is very, very important for you coming exam, especially for 2021, SSC candidate. Okay? The students, I think now you are ready. Are you ready? So, let's get started our class. So, the students, at first, let's watch the video. Look at the screen. I think you have uh, seen this video earlier, many months ago, years ago. Okay. Okay, dear students, the video, this is international news, the video it was recorded uh, in Thailand. Now, we'll learn about this video, at the same time we'll learn an unseen passage uh, from this video. Uh, now, again look at the screen, yeah, a very terrible news for you, a Thai football team missing you see you see here five football team missing so let's learn about this on 23 june 2018 12 Thai young footballers along with their coach missed in a cave network in chiang rai province in thailand okay so here we see the date was 23 2018 how many young footballers? 12 footballers and with them their coach you know the coach is a person who trains somebody and missed they are lost in a cave cave what is cave? actually cave network is a large hole uh, under the ground or cliff or a hill etc and it is situated in Chiang Rai province in Thailand you know the people the twelve you, you can see here the uh, picture of the uh, twelve uh, thirteen people here all these uh, young player and you see here uh, um, Thailand you see it is Bangladesh and after Myanmar and and then we see here Thailand the map of Thailand and the northern region of the Thailand this cave uh, named Sam Luo is situated and you will see the cave uh, under the uh, this uh, mountain uh, under the deep in this mountain the picture uh, white uh, okay next we see uh, it is that cave it is that cave uh, okay next I will explain this okay next from the next day that means where uh, uh, that means after they are losing after their uh, missing the next day national international community 
became worried, got worried for them. Their ages, their ages uh, were, uh, were between 11 to 16 and their coach was 25. That means the, their coach was a year, uh, he was 25 years old. The football team had been an, uh, on an exploration, you know, exploration it is, it is travel to any place, uh, visited to the cave, never following a game after a practice match. The group uh, became stranded. Stranded means lockdown or stranded means having, uh, having no way of leaving the place. After monsoon rain, the students, uh, they, so when they, the, the players entered the cave at the first time there is no rain but after when they are uh, in the heart of the cave in the deep of the cave there's sudden uh, sudden heavy rain and this heavy rain is stopped their entrance of the of the cave so the cave system to flood the cave system named some uh, the cave system this is trance is the is a mouth or door gate or something snake you can see it is carved and it's straight it is just like a snake it is a snaking root uh, which has a number of chambers uh, chambers you see you can see here chambers a deep hole in a in a place of chambers already submerged in a water all the chambers of the cave were flooded with water that is caused by a uh, heavy rainfall and uh, uh, can you imagine it took uh, six hours to where footballers were and five hours to come back to cave entrance uh, again i want to reply that uh, i want to explain that entrance means the gate or door or mouth of the cave thai rescuers began their expedition to find out them after the missing the students rescuers the person the persons who the persons who uh, uh, who saved somebody from a dangerous situation began their expedition mission or you can say operation to find out to them after the missing international rescue team who joined from USA Australia uh, Britain team also joined them participate with them on July 3rd the footballers were discovered were found alive is still there alive after nine days without food few drinking water anything by a British driver you know diver is a person who drive who walk under the water spending nine days in darkness they were suffering from hunger especially how they have to spend their nine days okay a Thai rescue this is a uh, very bad news for you that a Thai rescue died while he was supplying them food and the other necessities getting with a focused with the information what will happen in future the rescue team planned to rescue them immediately uh, immediately uh, immediately you can say uh, at, at once or uh, without delay navy divers had to leave the boys along the underwear underwear spurs from the cave on July 8, four boys were rescued. Of uh, this is a very good news. Finally, all 13, 13 people were rescued in the next three days. So uh, this is the text, unseen text. You you may you may find in your exam. So now I will uh, I will uh, uh, teach you. I'll try to read out this word, new word meaning. Some important words: cave. You can repeat after me, cave, caven, again, cave, caven, cave, caven, and thus making sentence, we took shelter in a dark cave, okay? Next, we explore, explore, to travel to or around an area, explore, this means to travel to or around an area. And the sentence we were keen, we entrusted to explore the region area. Okay, stranded means left helpless. 
It's stranded means there is no way of living uh, uh, from any place. That means you are confined in a place. You are helpless. You can't get out of the of the place. Hundreds of people remain stranded at a railway station. And uh, number four word submerge. Submerge. Repeat after me. Submerge. It means go underwater or flood. The fields had been submerged by flood water. And the last word, expedition. Expedition. Uh, it means expedition. Again, mission. Or you can say uh, operation. Uh, he led a military expedition against the rebels. He led a military expedition against the rebels. Okay. Actually, uh, from the unseen passage, these types of questions will be set for you exam in the in your exam. So you will uh, practice more and more these types of exercise. Look here, complete the following table with information from the passage. Here, yeah, who you write who, and activities when and where the place. So let's let's do this. Two Thai footballers missed when. 23rd June 2018 where you know well we know well from the text that they were missed in the cave the name of the cave was Tham Luong and it was situated in the northern region of Thailand it is in Chiang Rai okay next international community the people of international international what happened what did they do actually at first listening hearing the news bad terrible news they became worried got worried 24 june 18 around the world <clears throat> uh, surprising news for you a uh, british diver what what did he do 3rd july 2018 thumb cave chiang rai thailand actually discovered found all the people all the boys alive is still alive so a Thai rescuer died but unfortunately this is a uh, very bad news and the Thai rescuer died and uh, he, he was uh, unconscious at that he was alone there there is no scope to breathe here uh, on a uh, Thai rescuer died when when died when while he was supplying the food and necessities of uh, the necessities in the cave Tham Luong cave Thailand and finally who were rescued can you tell me who were rescued all 13 people the foot, young football footballers and their coach were rescued next three days uh, uh, from Chiang Rai Thailand Again, uh, you can check your answers. You can write down in a cave network in Chiang Rai province, Thailand. Got worried, discovered the footballers alive while supplying food and other necessities to the footballers, all 13 men. Okay, now read the passage again and write whether the statements are true or false. That it is for exercise, it is for better understand this passage. The, these types of questions won't be set for you in the exam, but for better understanding, I have set this uh, item. Okay, N A, 13 people uh, trapped, stranded uh, in a cave in Thailand. It is, is it true or false? Try yourself. 13 people are trapped, trapped, stranded in a cave. Okay, it is true. Very good. No, no, 13, yeah, true, it is true. The group, the party, took shelter in the cave to save their life. Is it true? Actually, they did not take shelter, but they paid a visit here, there. So it is false. The uh, question C, the soccer coach, uh, coach who is, uh, who is with the boys is uh, 35 years old. 35, not. We have uh, come to know that uh, he was 25 years old. Uh, so it is false. The correct answer is the soccer coach who was with, with the boys is 25 years old. The cave is 10 kilometers long. It is 100 person true. And 110 kilometers long. No people died in the cave. No people. Uh, was there any people died? Uh, of course died a person after I rescue a rescue. So it is false at side rescue. Men, people died in the cave. 
So uh, these students were uh, about to end this class at last the homework. These types of questions also set for your exam. Write the summary. Write a summary of the passage in your own words. These students, these types of unseen passage uh, from different sources you may you may find in your exam. And whenever you will find any unseen passage, don't worry, don't worry, don't be afraid of that because the whole passage is only done for you uh, for grade 9 and 10. Uh, the students, the most of the words you know, but some words you may find uh, unknown, but no problem. The con from the context, you'll try to understand the whole meaning of the, uh, of the, sen uh, of the text. And at first, you will try to read the question. Uh, and then try to answer okay so I think now you uh, have underst understood this passage clearly in this time I would advise you to please comment uh, leave a comment and drop a like and then share the video for your friends okay uh, keep watching my next classes thus I will take more classes on different items for your exam so that's all for today thank you very much